Question 28. Anna is sitting in a carriage of a Ferris wheel which is revolving. The height, A of t, in metres above the ground of the top of her carriage is given by A of t equals c minus k times cos pi t over 24, where t is the time in seconds after Anna's carriage first reaches the bottom of its revolution and c and k are constants. The top of each carriage reaches a greatest height of 39 metres and a smallest height of 3 metres. Part A. Find the value of C and K. C represents the line of centre between the minimum height and the maximum height, and K represents the distance between the line of centre to either the maximum or the minimum height. So I've sketched this here as a visual reference. We can see that the minimum height is 3 metres, the maximum height is 39 metres. C is exactly midway between the minimum height and the maximum height. So the average of 3 and 39 is 21. And the distance between 21 and 39 or 21 and 3 is 18. And I've shown the working out here. C is the line of centre halfway between the two height extremes. Hence, C is equal to 39 plus 3 in brackets divided by 2. So it's an average. So C is equal to 21. And K is the amplitude of motion, which is the distance from the line of centre to either height extreme. Hence, K is equal to 39 minus 21. Alternatively, it could be 21 minus 3. So K is equal to 18. Therefore, C is equal to 21 and K is equal to 18. Part B. How many seconds does it take for one complete revolution of the Ferris wheel? The time taken for one revolution or one complete spin of the Ferris wheel is equivalent to one period of motion. Now the period capital T is given by 2 pi divided by the coefficient of the time variable T. So if you recall from the equation of A of T, we have A of T is equal to C minus K times cos of pi T over 24. So the coefficient of t here is pi over 24. So to find the period, we take 2 pi, we divide that by pi over 24, the 2 pi's will cancel, we multiply the 2 and the 24 together, and we get 48. Therefore, one revolution takes 48 seconds. Part C. Billy is in another carriage. The height, b of t, in metres above the ground of the top of her carriage is given by B of t equals c minus k times cos pi over 24 times t minus 6, where c and k are as found in part a. During each revolution, there are two occasions when Anna's and Billy's carriages are at the same heights. At what two heights does this occur? Give your answer correct to two decimal places. We want to find the times when both carriages are at the same height above the ground. So we want to solve for t the equation a of t equals b of t. 21 minus 18 cos pi t over 24 equals 21 minus 18 cos pi over 24 times t minus 6. Now the two 21s will cancel. We can also divide both sides of the equation by negative 18. Also we can take the inverse cos of both sides of the equation. So we're left with pi t over 24 equals pi over 24 times t minus 6. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 24, dividing both sides by pi, we get t is equal to t minus 6, and that's impossible. Now the next thing to consider is the even characteristic of the cosine curve. Recall that cos theta is equal to cos negative theta, since cos theta is an even function. So if we go back to the original equation, we can replace the angle here on the left hand side with its negative. So we can save a few steps and we can go to this point here. So we can replace pi t over 24 with negative pi t over 24. And we get this equation here. So negative pi t over 24 equals pi over 24 times t minus 6. And that simplifies to negative t equals t minus 6. And we do get a valid solution. t is equal to 3. Now another property to recall is cos 2 pi minus theta is equal to cos theta. 
and I've sketched a cosine curve here. So if that's cos theta here, if we come back from 2 pi to the left-hand side, you end up at the same two heights. So the equation can be 2 pi minus pi t over 24 is equal to pi over 24 times t minus 6. Multiplying all terms by the denominator 24, we get 48 pi minus pi t is equal to pi times t minus 6. Dividing all terms by pi, we get 48 minus t is equal to t minus 6. Collecting like terms, we get 2t is equal to 54, so t is equal to 27, and that's our second solution. Finally, we need to find the heights at the times where t is equal to 3 and t is equal to 27, because that's what the question is asking for. So we can use a of t for that. So a of 3 is equal to 21 minus 18 times cos 3 pi over 24, and that evaluates to 4.37016 and so on. a of 27, that evaluates to 37.6298 and so on, but we need to round those values correct to two decimal places. Therefore, the two heights where both carriages are at the same height above the ground are 4.37 metres and 37.63 metres, correct to two decimal places.